Hi store owners, my name is Crystal and welcome to Advanced Coupons channel. In today's video, I'm going to discuss to you how to give store credit cash back with a coupon. I'm so excited to discuss this because this is the newest feature that we've added to our Advanced Coupons Premium plugin. What are cash backs? You know, this could help you out into your store in you know increasing brand loyalty you can increase your revenue definitely it could increase customer loyalty now as you can see even airlines could give miles credit cards could give cash bags so it's just the same with this one but it is via stored credits instead of giving it as a cash one so that they will be going back to your store and purchase more to redeem their store credits so let's start I will be teaching you how to do it first of course let's go to your site and then create a coupon I will be adding it here um, cash back and then we've added this feature under discount type along with the percentage discount fixed cart discount uh, fixed product discount BOGO and here percentage cashback store credit and fixed cashback store credit so let's start first with the percentage cashback discount type of course here like the name says it's percentage cashback now you could set the amount or percentage amount that you are willing to offer to your customers so let's say I'm going to give $10 cash back to their purchase. Now it's up to you if you want to set a requirement on their order for them to trigger this coupon. So for example, I will be using, of course, I will be using cart conditions, cart subtotal. I need the customer to, you know, cart at least $100. Set here, $100. Of products more worth of products so that they could trigger or they could use this cashback coupon so I'm going to use more than 99 here because technically this is hundred dollars and then I will have it here now the question is what if the customer purchased one thousand dollars worth of products and are you willing to give one hundred dollars to uh, $100 worth of store credits for this or what if the customer purchased $10,000 so for that you could use the percentage discount cap so that you could limit the discount that you can offer for this cashback coupon for example I'm going to write 50 here which means $50 it means that if the customer purchased let's say $500 worth of products in my store and then that's what's the 10 percent of it that would be fifty dollars what if the customer purchased one thousand dollars worth of products the amount will still be fifty dollars because that's the limit that i've set on this cashback coupon so this would be handy definitely but of course if you are generous enough to give more store credits to your customers please you could, you could leave this black so that it will follow the ten dollar or the discount that you will set for the store credit coupon or the store credit cashback coupon now we also have our cashback waiting period here you know if you leave this zero or blank it means that once the order has been set or has been completed or the status of the order has been completed that's the time cashback store credit will be added to their account but if you want also you could use a five which is five days after the um, order has been completed but for uh, this video I'm going to leave it zero so that you will see how the store credit will be added as soon as the status of the order has been completed so i will set this to zero okay so i already have the requirement here for the coupon and let me publish it okay and then let's try this coupon into you know my store okay let me save this first 
Okay, coupon updated and let's go to my store. Uh, in addition, for store credits, you need to be a logged in customer so that we know or the system know where or which account to put the store credit. Okay, so first, uh, let me purchase some products here. I've set how much? $100 minimum uh, for the coupon to be triggered so I'm going to add some okay this would be uh, not much I'm going to add a hoodie here happy ninja hoodie and there let's view the cart and let's go to the cart page here okay so I only have $34 here I will try the coupon just to be sure that the requirement that I've set is working. Okay, let me... Okay, so I got a notification here. It says, your current card hasn't met the condition set for this coupon. So let me adjust the product here. I'll put four. Okay. And of course, I've got $137.20 here and now the coupon should work. Now, anyway, you could always, always use auto apply coupon option here if you want, you know, the coupon to be triggered automatically once the requirement has been, you know, achieved or now, just for this video so that you will see or you, you can take a glimpse of what's happening when I apply the coupon, okay? So, let me apply this coupon here. Okay. So, let me... So that I you can see the note here under the cashback coupon. Since I've purchased $137.20 worth of products, I will get the 10%, which is $13.72 of store credit. This would be cashback store credit will be earned as store credits after the order has been completed. So the status again of the order should be completed before you could earn this cashback. So let's proceed to the checkout. Okay, for those who are, uh, for those of you who are watching this video, if you haven't seen the store credit option on the checkout page, here it is. So, you have the option, of course, to use the full amount of or the full available amount of one hundred fourteen dollars and seventy cents, just to offset the total of one hundred thirty-seven dollars and twenty cents. But you could also try like fifty dollars or just spend you know or get twenty dollars worth of store credits to you know deduct on your total bill but in this video i'm not gonna use any okay so let me place the order and then it's checked of course i've also earned some points here using the loyalty program so you there will be some increase also with the store credit points and I will also be discussing that feature in my other videos. So, okay, so let's go to my account first so that before I change the status of my order into completed, I know how much I have before the cashback will be added. Okay, so let's go to store credits under my account. So currently I have $114.70. And let's change the status of the order, the one that I just ordered, into completed. Let's go back. Okay, and it's on hold. And let me change it into completed. And then let's refresh my account and see how much points I've earned after this one. Okay, it's already completed and let's refresh this page from $114.70 it is now $128.42 
so that's for the percentage discount i will be it's just the same also let's go back to the uh, coupons page here and let me discuss the fixed cashback star credit discount type okay see coupons or oh, coupons okay let me open again this edit the cashback coupon okay how about let me change it into a fixed cashback coupon so we're expecting fixed amount here so if you can see the discount cap has been removed since this would be a fixed amount so i will be using 50 dollars here or no oh, sorry i will still be using 10 dollars same goes with the cashback waiting period and for the cart conditions that i've set here and let me update it so i'm expecting 10 dollars of cashback if i've purchase at least $100 worth of products in the store. Okay, so $128.42. Let's go back to the shop and let's purchase again and see how this cashback, fixed cashback coupon will work. Okay, so let's go to your to the shop. Okay, let me purchase. What am I going to purchase here? How about, okay with this one a patient ninja of $31.50 view cart okay so I have it here for $31.50 and I'm going to buy four of this one like what I did a while ago if it's below $100 the coupon will not be triggered so let me update it first into more than hundred dollars worth of products and then let me apply the coupon okay so this would be ten dollars worth because i've set a fixed amount of cash back of ten dollars will be earned as store credits after the order has been completed so regardless of the amount products that your customer will buy it will always be ten dollars okay so let's proceed to check out and let me okay okay I still have the store remaining credits here I will not be using this on this order again because I'm saving it for another video because I will be discussing a loyalty program so again place order and then I will be waiting for the order here and let me change the status okay here order has been received let's go to my account to see how much uh, store credits I have before we see the changes once the order or the last order has been completed okay so i have 128 dollars and 42 cents here and let me change this status into completed from on hold to completed and then let's check it if the ten dollars has been added okay so the status of the order the recent order is already completed so let's check let's refresh this it's 128 dollars and 42 cents so i'm expecting there ten dollars more because the last order has you know been completed the good thing with this one is your customers will be forced to buy more to your store because the credits or the discounts were added or your cashbacks were added to your store credit and the only way for them you know to spend those or to use those is to spend more to your store so that would definitely increase your revenue and that would you know make or customer could tell other customers that you do have this kind of offers and you could attract more so i hope this video helps if you do have any question please feel free to you know 
message us or if you are requesting any videos about our other settings or our other plugins just comment down below make sure to like and subscribe our channel bye